today's Health Watch, there is important news about breast cancer screening. Under new FDA rules, providers will now be required to notify women who undergo mammograms if they have dense breast tissue. That can make mammograms harder to read, and about half of all women have dense breasts. It's among the factors that can increase the risk of developing breast cancer. So joining us now to explain what this means in detail is Dr. Parveen Petty. She is the director of the Breast Medical Oncology at Providence St. John's in Santa Monica. So Dr. Petty, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, tell us what this means. If we get a, a result back that says we have breast, dense breast tissue, what should we do? Good morning. Uh, thank you for having me. So dense breast refers to how glandular um, the tissue is. And it's a marker, like it basically depends on age as well as genetics uh, of a woman. As we get older, our breasts become less dense, less glandular. But part of it is also genetics. And some women uh, just genetically have denser breasts. When a woman is defined as having denser breast, that means that when a radiologist looks at their mammogram, the mammogram looks more white in the background. And cancer also looks white, as you can see in the pictures. So when you have a background of more white, uh, it can be harder to see small masses. That's one uh, problem. The other problem is that women who have denser breast can actually have a higher risk of breast cancer, period. So not only do they have a higher risk of breast cancer, they also have you know, tissue that makes it harder to read mammograms. So it's important for women to know if they have denser breasts. Now, this has been the law in California already. Then women in LA or in California, when they get the mammogram reports, they will have a note at the bottom that if their breasts are dense, it should say you have dense breasts and this may lower the sensitivity of your mammograms. But this was not universally adopted before this uh, FDA ruling came out. Now all states are required to have that. Uh, and so how does this affect your advice to women? What do you tell them to do? Do they get screened more often? What is your advice to them? So they need to talk to their doctor because it kind of depends on their whole risk. Um, so sometimes these women need additional imaging like uh, ultrasound or breast MRI. So it's very important to talk to your doctor and say, yeah, okay, my breasts are dense. Now, this is also my family history or these are our mother, uh, our, uh, my other risk factors. And what do I need to do in addition? So you really need to have that discussion with your doctor. Not everybody with dense breasts now needs MRIs or ultrasound, but a good portion of them do. So that's the main thing that you need to be aware of, that mammogram alone may not be enough. And you definitely need to go every year for your mammograms, preferably a 3D mammogram, also called tomosynthesis, to really be sure that we're not missing anything. Well, this is really important information and we should all be empowered to know uh, our decisions and our choices. And we really appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.